welcome back to Cobra Park Farm where today we are doing something very reminiscent of the 60s and 70s we are stubble burning we better jump this fence again and we don't want to get burned so uh, yeah very much something that was seen in the 60s and 70s that the stubble burning you can see there the wind's blowing it through the trees the trees may well get scorched but it's coming autumn the leaves are coming off anyway we'll come down and have a look a bit further around to make sure that everything is safe now you see a bit of that edge is getting scorched there Uh, yeah, stubble burning, they used to do that to get rid of bugs and pests, weeds, used to do the soil good, get potash to put into the soil, so we shall catch you back when we go sort out our tractor and start doing the cultivating. We'll have a, see in the mirror there the stubble burning away. We shall head down to the next field. We shall have a look from down here to see what it's like. Just jump out and have a minute to show you from a distance. down the cart next season. It's a bit different, not seeing anybody else show you what happened in the 60s and 70s after the uh, combine had finished. Obviously back then you didn't have straw choppers on the combines. In the 80s we had straw spreaders on the combines to give you a better burn thing to do then, the two big 
clackers on the back. You spread the straw so you didn't have the trails and the gap between them. You've got straw spread the same as what the choppers leave stuff spread. And uh, yeah. I've done it when in the 80s when they made the roll you've got to have so many metres cultivated as a wind fire break. I mean, back in the 60s and 70s you never used to bother with a fire break, just set fire to the field and burnt it. I remember when we did have the fire break, so I, when I used to work at DW Bells and some, the foreman, the farm manager said to me to cultivate around the outside of the field. I got halfway round and next thing I knew the field was on fire so I was driving through fire to get back to the gateway. Good job it was diesel and not petrol that we had on the tractor. Yeah it was every year you used to see black smoke in the air with the wheat fields and barley fields of England going up in flames and anyway this field will be one of our winter crops but, uh, field 7 will be top end will be half potatoes half sugar beet and field 8 will be a big chunk of that down the bottom end of it will be maize this will be the top end in maize and just leave it have a couple of breeds with a combine straight through the side edge of the field it's going to be maize but, uh, work it out one way or another we don't want too much maize don't want too many potatoes and too many sugar beets. It is once again yeah, getting misty. With the rain threatening to fall once again, even before the wet crop icon disappears. We have got two lovely summer days after today lovely autumn days I should say, not summer days. So uh, everything looking good at the minute. Apparently there's a new drill down at the shop, we want to go have a look at that and probably purchase it to put behind the tractor to do the drilling, the Massey Ferguson drill tends to skip bits of field in places. And, uh, now, here we go, go right on the back. So, uh, this is very much autumn work cultivating the field ready for the next crop. Any fields that are going to be drilled in the spring will be ploughed again. Which keeps our three year cycle of ploughing a bit more in check. There are sheep in here, they are not far away from us nearest field we've got and uh, not the best of cubs for viewing where you're going but uh, you can manage with it. Uh, nice farm old tractor. Yeah, the 
field what was burnt and she'll plough in the burnt embers of stubbles and straw and that will add some potash to the soil, make potatoes and sugar beet grow better next year. This field of course didn't need burning, it was ploughed so uh, wanted to get and there's the rain falling so we shall work our way back down to the end of here and we shall go over to the cow sheep farm just check on the sheep and probably buy a few cows just to Give them a try. Here's the uh, raining pretty hard now, so uh, stop the track for that. Don't want to be cultivating in the rain, especially when you've got to drill it. It's pretty bad. Autumn day, so uh, go down to the cheap pond, just check everything there, probably buy some cows. Close the door, otherwise inside of the cab will get wet. You see, we've got water and everything in. And we've got A, we've got straw. Well, iron straw, that's lovely. So we haven't got any silage because we haven't harvested it yet. So we've got this big cow pen here. Now, find the put that up somewhere around here is trigger to load in the cows. Sure now, where you uh, actually load the cows into the must be up the other end. Well, yeah, it's a long while since I bought any animals on that. Oh, here it is. Now we can see two and a half thousand pound a piece. We'll we can buy five, don't think. Yes, we can buy six. So we have now got six bales, which is tipping it down with rain. On the John Deere. Go find the water trough for them. Put it on with the tractor with the cab bringing out. But uh, there are six cows there. May have to go down the bottom of the field and just close the bottom gate. It looks like they're heading that way. We'll go in. Give the cows some water and we've got to stop out and shoot the gate, otherwise the cows will be 
out and gone. Give him a drink of water first. No lovely looking beast what we bought, so uh, The other side of the water drop that you fill it. Give these cows some water. There we go. Head across to that bottom gate, otherwise the cows are going to be gone. All right, moving closer and closer to it. I want to lose them when we just bought them. Unless I do believe the gate open, that's not good. Close that gate. Spin the tractor around and to head down the farm again. Pull up there and open the gate again. We don't need to be back in here anymore now because we need water. And this can go back in the shed. I'm sure you can put I know we can put grass into the trough, I'm not sure whether we can put straw in as bedding without a specialist blower, that's why we've got the straw blower here. Okay, I'm just going to go get Massey Ferguson and stick on my bale of grass in for a start, make sure I've got feed, that's more important than a bit of bedding. Cows, yes, it cost us a bit of money, but they will produce some milk. And, uh, it will be a great help to us getting some milk. Please, you know, we'll see you whether we need the straw blower or whether we can actually put the straw in, put the bale, and roll it out. these bales in we will get a straw blower going I'm sure we can put these bales and put some straw in let's try this way I'm not sure which one of these it is which has the straw in maybe we go in there or in the other one we'll try both go in here and see if it will Friend, back from stubble burning. As, uh, it's not in that side. Straw in without the straw blower, so that's 
Right, so bring this tractor out, load it into the straw blower, and then bring our John Deere with grass mower on round to John Deere again, and uh, move some straw in. It's a uh, bit of a mixed bag of stream, the same as the live stream was last night. Which, uh, no doubt, we're going back the water tank back into here. Go put the straw blower on, find out where the straw needs to be. And then the cows will be not fully functional because we haven't got any silage. So yeah. this one first, we should get a signal up when it's trying to put it in. Not from there. That door can now be closed. And we shall try with this door. We'll close it in from here. Yes, there we go. So that's where we we'll blow the straw in. Let's just check on the animals. See what it says. Sheep could have done with some more water, so they've got straw, they've got grass. Yeah, that's lovely. So that's where we will finish the strip video for today. All that's left to say is thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, give it a share. It only helps my channel that helps the mod makers get their mod scene. If you are new to Summer Farm Estates and would like to see more of the work we do here, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon. That will tell you when these videos are uploaded, when we do our live streams. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.